Hey guys, I'm Ryan Ford. And I'm Brandon Douglas. Here at Apex Movement Boulder. These are the jumping bars! So in Ninja Warrior, they call these the jumping bars. In parkour, we call it a lache. Basically getting from one bar to another with a swinging release technique. I've seen parkour guys do this up to like 10 or 12 feet. So in Ninja Warrior, when you only have to go five feet, it's super easy, you guys got it. What he said. In order to do these jumping bars with good technique, you gotta understand a couple things about swinging on the bar properly. Uh, first off, you should know the tap swing. So in the tap swing, you hit two positions. There's your hollow, and your arch. And basically it looks like this. Hollow, arch, hollow. Hollow, arch, hollow. Hollow, arch, hollow. And that's what can get you a lot of momentum really quickly, generating between that closed hip, open hip, or your arch, and your hollow. Um, also, you should know a startup swing. So if you ever catch that bar and you don't have any momentum, or maybe you catch it and your feet are out here, you wanna be able to kick your feet up and out and hit that straight arm position quickly so that you get that swing going as fast as possible and you don't have to take you know, five extra swings to get to the next bar. This technique is a good balance of speed, efficiency, and risk. Um, instead of linking directly between each bar, you're gonna take one extra swing, so you have to make sure as soon as you land, you kick your feet out immediately and use that momentum to go in just one more swing. So it looks kind of like this. There is one technique that is a little bit faster than all of them, but it's a little bit risky. And you've got to be able to hit the proper body angle to go straight into it. So rather than taking any extra swings here, you're going to catch it with your legs behind your upper body so that you immediately swing into the next one. Most people will land the jumping bar or lache with their feet in front of them, which requires them to take an extra swing. So basically, if you're gonna link this, you gotta let go and throw your chest back forward so you lead with the upper body like this. There are a few things that you should not do when you do the jumping bars. And the most important thing is either when you land it, you've got to kick your feet out and swing back, or you've got to be catching it with your feet behind you so you can immediately swing into the next one. Now, a lot of people don't do either one, and so they get stuck there, and then they got to build up their swing, and they waste a lot of time. So when you catch on, what you do not want to do is just catch and do nothing. On the last bar, the gap to the platform is not very large. So when you're making this final lache, just maintain your forward momentum and immediately drop onto the platform. Don't swing more than you have to, okay? You're gonna tire yourself out, you're gonna take more time, possibly run out of grip. Uh, also, when you're swinging on these bars, you don't wanna try to swing from bent arms, okay? You get way less swing here than if you're straight like this. So if you're really pressed for time, you can try something that's just a monkey bar straight technique and it's very risky, but it can be really, really quick through the uh, jumping bars. It also depends on your wingspan. Some people with really long arms might be able to grab onto both bars at the same time. Our bars are a little uh, wider than the ones at Ninja Warrior, so I think you can pull it off if you got long arms and if you're committed and you really stick to it. Do it. Except we just do it. You'll probably fall in the water and then I'll beat you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'm Ryan Ford. And I'm Brandon Douglas. Here at Apex Moving Boulder. Be sure to check back every Tuesday for more Ninja Warriors tutorials. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, give us our shirts back. Yes!